Now let's continue to work on the head. So let's create a new paint layer. And for this one, I want to add sort of a rosy kind of glow or blush around the eyes. We'll add a little bit of life and even into the uh, nose a little bit. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and get a soft brush, a basic soft brush. I'm going to make sure I go to the paint brush instead of our eraser. Go ahead and get a bright red. And then I'm going to turn off roughness and just go with the color. All right. Make sure to get my soft brush. Let's dial down the size of it. Make sure we're painting symmetrically. And I'm just going to come in here and paint right around the eye, kind of right in here like that. I'm not going to go too far. All right. Let's also go in here on the interior of where this nose is. I'm going to kind of add some paint in there. All right, let's go ahead and add a blur to this. So we'll add a filter blur. Let's increase the blur amount. All right. And let's also take this mix down so that we are getting something like that. Okay. So that just adds a little bit of life to it. And you can continue to paint in here if you want to, if it's not kind of going far enough, keep in mind that as you paint, it's going to take that blur into account. So it's not going to paint exactly where you're painting. It's going to go ahead and blur that as you're painting it. So you'll be able to kind of see that happen in real time. So I'll kind of fill that in right there. Something like that. You can also come in here and get maybe a bigger brush and let's take our flow down a little bit. If you wanted to kind of just extend it out a little bit more, maybe put a little bit of us glow along like the, where the mouth is, maybe something like that with a real light touch. Maybe up in here a little bit as well. Just give it a little bit more life and come back and get rid of a little bit of that around the mouth area. All right. And again, you can play around with the intensity there. Let's go ahead and add some detail to the top of the head. So let's go add another paint layer. This time I want kind of a rougher brush. So let's try this dirt two, and I'm going to make sure I go to the brush here. I want a small size and I want to change the color to like a blue. And again, when I'm choosing a color, feel free to choose a different color. I'm going to make the height a little bit bigger. And then I want to come in here and start to create some raised shapes on the head. And I want the edges to be a little bit rougher like that. And you can use kind of the detail that's up here as sort of a guide if you want to, or you can create something unique, but I just want to have a little bit more of a pop of color on this character. We'll do kind of a big one in the center and then real lightly around the edges so that it's a little bit lighter and you can even have a little bit of a kind of lines coming through like that. Just kind of echoing the detail that we've got there. Same thing kind of down here and then along the edges. Just using that existing map as kind of a guide there. So maybe something like that. Now, if the blue is a little bit too intense, we can go ahead and add a filter. And this time let's add an HSL, perceptive. And we can go in and change the lightness of it, saturation, and all the cool things you can do with an HSL. We can change that. And so you can make the spots different colors after you've actually painted them. The height is not affected. So it's kind of a nice way to do it as well. Now on here, I want to do the same thing, but I want to have them 
kind of more follow along with these uh, shapes that are a little bit more squared. And so let's try and see if we can do it with this actual brush. And so we'll go back to our layer. And I want to choose maybe a smaller brush size. And then I just want to kind of follow along with that shape. It's maybe a little bit too small to be efficient. So something like that. And you can see we're still painting with the same color, but because that HSL is on there, it's affecting the paint as we paint. So we're able to see that. And you can come in here and add one kind of here. And we're raised in here as well. You could put these on another layer and make these a different color if you wanted to. Or you could change this color and make them a different color than the ones on the rest of the head. Add a little bit of detail around it, kind of blend it back into the surface. I'm just going to get a little bit of a bigger brush size and kind of blend this together a little bit. This is a great chance for you to kind of experiment a little bit and create something that looks really cool to you. Keep in mind that these are all on layers, so it's very, very easy to change things up and, and switch things around. Let's say that we want to add a little bit more of a bump there. Well, I'll just turn off the color, increase the height, and then I can go in and add a little bit of extra bump where I've already painted, like so. Maybe concentrate it more in the center. I think I do want to take the saturation out a little bit. So let's go back into our HSL. Let's pull that saturation back a bit. So something more like that. All right, let's also go ahead and add to the horns. Let's go ahead and add that bony material as a base. So we'll just drop that right on top there. And then if we want to, we can come in and add a paint layer on top of that. Go back to our brushes. And I'm going to paint with black, no height. I'm just going to paint some kind of a little bit of dirt on there. Let me get actually a different, slightly different brush. Let's do like uh, dirt spots. Go. So it's a little bit spottier. Just come in and add a little bit of dirt along the edges. Just to kind of dirty it up a little bit. Same thing on these horns up here. All right, so something like that. Let's go back to the head. And I want to hit the caruncle with a little bit of red. That's a little little dot there in the corner of the eye. So I'm going to add a new paint layer. And let's go ahead and get a soft brush. It's a very small size. We're going to paint roughness and color. Let's choose red. It's a little really low roughness value. Okay, so something like that. Let's blend that in. And I think I want it to be a little bit more bright, but maybe not all the way down there. So I'm going to go back with my eraser and just hit that a little bit. So it's mainly just that dot there. And I feel like it should be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to do an adjustment. Increase the saturation a bit. And darken it up so something like that so once you've got the detail on your head like you like the next thing that we can do is to come in and texture the necklace so here we don't have any high-res geometry that we've baked anything from so we're kind of free to create whatever we want so another great opportunity for you to explore and so you can follow along with what I do or you can do something completely different but we will focus on that area in the next clip